So I heard you're looking for a sleeper quarterback and there'd be a huge breakout in the 2025 NFL draft class. Don't worry, y'all. I got you covered. This is Kyron Drones, quarterback for Virginia Tech, listed at 6'2", 234 pounds. Yes, he is far more than just your average quarterback. He has size and speed. He's extremely dangerous with his legs, rushing for over 800 yards last season at Virginia Tech, a big part of their program with this run-pass option. He brings a different element to your game. So we've got a little bit of motion from right to left here, and then you get the fake pitch, which is going to take that defense is going to take them all the way to that right hand side here. So you see again, the shift, everyone's going to go this way. Everyone's going here. So what does drones do again? Nice job with the fake pitch here. And then the entire left side or right side of that defense here for him is wide open. So you've got blocks coming out. He does a fantastic job of getting into space. He has smooth, easy acceleration for a guy his size. Not the breakaway speed you're looking for, but still can be absolutely devastating in the run game. When you have this type of size and speed at quarterback, it makes defenses have to not just respect the arm talent that he currently has and really does have, but the way that he can break into anything at any time. This, I would have loved to see him actually take the shot because if we look, he's got eyes on the wide receiver down that left-hand sideline and he's about to stack not just the guy behind him but this db right here who's already in the problem he's not going to be able to make sense of this play for him so i wish he would have thrown the football been able to get out here but secondary nature for him kicks in he gets a little bit of pressure as he's feeling in the pocket and then he goes and takes us for another big play down the field gets virginia tech into the red zone so just want him to take a little bit of shot here. He's got a very good arm, which we're going to find out here in a little bit. But just take the chance. You have the receiver open. The defense is behind him. You've got a very good deep ball. Take the shot and go. But again, we are showcasing the talent and the willingness to just take off at any moment and be a huge part of the run game, creating big plays for your offense. That is in droves here for him. And he's got so much pure size and speed that we've talked about that you really don't expect him to be able to rip off chunk gains like this, but the way he accelerates is so smooth, it's so quick, and he does it over those long strides, which makes it seem effortless. And one thing, just really quickly point out before we get to the next one, is how he dissolves these angles, okay? So you've got a couple of different defenders here who are going to have at least an outside shot to get to him, and not one of them is able to bring him down those angles are absolutely gone and he runs all the way down to the 10 yard line so it's clear he's got real speed even though it does not look like he's accelerating at the same level you see from most of these players who have pure unadulterated speed he can absolutely gash defenses so you're going to play a little bit of man coverage he's going to be able to take off when your back is to the quarterback and make you pay for it and when you have that that type of athleticism and all the willingness to be able to take off and do that it creates problems for a defense, not just because you can do that, but you're going to be able to be moved off the spot into the pocket, out of the pocket and make plays happen. So here you've got your play moving to the right-hand side for the quarterback and you've got motions, right? All types of things happening here. So on the right-hand side of this formation, you're going to have a crosser go over and then this receiver is coming underneath with this crossing motion here. You've got play action. So Running back's coming here. Number 83 is going to go into the flat and create, again, more movement. Creating that deep, that horizontal shift from the defense creates gaps and voids in the defense. And then you have just the clear out route, out route from this out receiver here. And so watch number nine as he comes underneath, goes underneath the defense. Drones is going to be, again, play action, moving to his right. He's got eyes downfield. He's looking here first, coming back here. And then he's going to hit this receiver open the, over the middle of the field, number nine in stride beautifully placed football for a touchdown in front uh, over that defender that's coming with him so he can move he's got really great arm strength on the move pinpoint accuracy for multiple different positions different platforms and again here just motioning look at it this is just it's effortless he's able to come back to that over route across the middle of the field delivers it in stride on a dime all the way across his body right there so i love what he's able to do from movement perspective and then you've got some plays like this we talk about making it easy for a wide receiver to generate yards after the catch right you're always looking for yards after the catch especially in today's 
game the entire not just the nfl college football it's all about generating yards after catch so you've got more motion here this wide receiver is coming across the formation and doing the same thing we just saw you've got more play action here and this receiver is just going to come right here this tight ends all the way just over route from the left hand side of the formation all the way to the right and then on the opposite side you're just really uh, clearing out so you have deep route down here and then an inside release vert get vertical and get to the corner just taking these D these DBs out of the play 100%. And we want ball placement because, yes, he could have thrown this to the receiver and it probably would have been broken up. But you want to throw the football in front. Let that player generate yards after catch. That's why there's a difference between accuracy and ball placement. You can be a very accurate quarterback, but you see wide receivers, tight ends, running backs having to adjust to the football. That is still called accuracy. This is ball placement right here. That's how you know this guy can absolutely put it where he wants to, not just from the pocket, from on the move, where it's far more difficult with all the different platforms that you have, that you have to be able to get that football out. And just hats off to the receiver here, making a great one-handed catch to make this play possible. Just very, very great, but also pinpoint accuracy, allowing that from the receiver. So all of those things being shown, he has all the tools from the athletic and off-platform arm talent angles to really maximize what they want to do at Virginia Tech, which is the play action, moving the pocket, moving the quarterback, all those things in, in rhythm. One of the areas that we talked about earlier about taking some shots downfield when you have it, I think later in football games, he was more willing to do so, not so much later. This is another area where I think he needs to improve. It's more about the control. Like, just throw this football to the receiver, but you see his long elongated at times arm throwing motion it comes up it comes over and what he's doing here is he's controlling how fast this ball comes out so i'm going to show you right here that this creates a little bit of a wonky throw so you see how it kind of moves throughout the air instead of just throwing it to his receiver getting it out quickly and letting him make the play get it into yards after catch quickly he instead kind of aims it and takes the power off of it so it's wobbly through the air it's not getting to its target as fast and that's also exaggerated with the arm over elongated throwing motion so he has been working this offseason with the same qb coach as shador sanders to not just tighten up the throwing motion but to make it more efficient right you want to be able to take the arm slot not necessarily go all the way over but create more of that three quarter where it's efficient it's quick and you can still generate that velocity so he's working right now he's going to be, have a great season this year in terms of getting better in that regard because i think he's going to be throwing the football a lot more at virginia tech this year because he's got all the talent in the world pocket management right you have to be able to avoid pressure really quick pressure from uh, Pey uh peyton right here off the left hand side just really quickly he sees it out of the corner of his eye right he sees it right here boom all right step up in the pocket this is another kind of signature move of his he's got a really big step up into the pocket not afraid to step up stay in there and throw the football downfield slightly off target creates an opportunity for the receiver to go get it and then he's forced out of bounds and, and this is consistently throughout his game you know if we're talking about pressure to sack rates he had an 18 percent sack rate last season 23 sacks on 126 targets that was lower than all the top three quarterbacks that were selected in 2024's draft class in caleb williams drake may and Jaden daniels so he is not taking a ton of sacks even though virginia tech's offensive line last year wasn't very good and purely from throwing the football he can do a lot of different things with the talent, right? We talked about him needing to improve, maybe not always aiming and taking some effort off of the throw. This is a fantastic layered throw over the middle of the field where you've got this tight end here coming over, clearing that linebacker and sitting in the zone here. And then you've got this receiver on the outside, hoping to take a little bit of attention from that uh, deep field defender. So this is a layered throw. What we mean by layering is taking a throw, putting it in between two defenders over top of the underneath defender and in between that deep defender here. So watch as Drones is going to put this on the money linebacker, or should be he clears the linebacker and ball comes out right to his hands. Yes, he has to go up for it a little bit, clanks off of his hands and nearly is intercepted. This is something that should not have happened. Obviously, he dealt with a lot of drops last year. I was watching a few of his games, obviously, to get these, and there's so many 
drops. But he puts us in a spot where his receiver should be the one to get it out of harm's way. Only throwing three interceptions last year. 17 touchdowns with three interceptions. He doesn't put the ball in harm's way very much. And this is just a, honestly, it's a pinpoint accurate throw to layer it in between that linebacker and underneath that defender. And it should have never been even close to being intercepted. And at, at times, you just got to be able to go get a bucket, right? We know that quarterbacks have to be able to go make something happen from time to time. And Kyron Drones is a guy that can absolutely do that. We talked about the arm strength how he can dial it back sometimes. But this is one of the things that you really want to see from a quarterback. So he's on the short side of the field, which makes this far more impressive. You've got three defender, three defenders versus two wide receivers. This outside receiver is going to stem to the inside, take this upfield, and then get to the corner. This underneath receiver here is going to just come underneath right there. So you've got this, and then he's pretty much going to come down. So it's almost like an out where he's going to turn to the football and then – hopefully draw that outside defender and drone says fine you go down i'm going to throw behind you and he puts it over again layering this over the defender who's trying to undercut that to the receiver you've got fantastic ball placement arm talent velocity to make this throw from the pocket to the outside numbers outside the numbers there and a fantastic catch so all things considered kyron drones has the talent not just to be a dual threat quarterback, but has all of the willingness from the pocket to stand in there with his arm talent, his ball placement, and willingness to just layer throws in between defenders. All the talent in the world to be a hugely big mover in the 2025 NFL draft class at quarterback. So watch for the name Kyron Drones this season as he, if Virginia Tech has a good season, you could even see him in Heisman talks. Yes, I don't mean to mince words about that. I believe in this guy's talent. I think he's going to be an excellent player this season. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new to TDN and you're new here, I'm here every single week as many as we can getting you guys caught up with breakdowns and learning more about the game so you guys if you're new to the channel hit that sub button right now hit the like on the way out and i'll see you next time